Thank you and welcome. On behalf of the Laurentian Bank Financial Group, I wish to thank you for being here. Ms. Corville, the team and I wish to thank you and wish you the greatest of success in your new role as board chair of CP Rail. Mr. Mueller, we are happy to welcome you on a journey of becoming a better and different bank, and I must say, better and different it will be. Now allow me to ask, who would have thought? Who would have thought that a bank founded 173 years ago that helped countless new Canadians when arriving in the Port of Montreal would today have more than $45 billion in assets and be ranked among the top 40 banks in North America? Who would have thought that the same bank, who less than 40 years ago was only able to, re to serve retail customers on the island of Montreal, would today be a pan-Canadian organization and have targeted presence in the U.S., and moreover, not only serve retail customers, but also have a growing business services sector and be a key player in the inventory, equipment, and commercial real estate financing, have a unique business model that harnesses the independent network of advisors and brokers to distribute its products, have an integrated broker that can gather up a group of more than 300 institutional investors, corporate issuers, and investment bankers at a top-ranked small-cap conference, and have a real focus on financial advice because that is what customers tell us that they want and need. Who would have thought that this financial institution, perceived by some as your grandfather's sleepy bank, would be the largest bank in Canada to implement the new core banking system, one that will allow it to retire old legacy systems, move forward with a modern, flexible platform, and launch digital banking across Canada, delivering on the promise of free banking and a renewed customer experience. Who would have thought that this same bank, by embracing the values of simplicity, proximity, and honesty, is putting its customers first and moving day-to-day -day transactions to digital to enhance the experience while prioritizing high-value interactions through its account managers and financial advisors? And finally, who would have thought that this bank, after years of lackluster performance, is courageously following a transformation plan that repositions it for durable, sustainable growth and improved profitability in an industry ripe for disruption? At today's Laurentian Bank Financial Group, we are doing all of this and more. We are becoming a better and different financial organization. And after a 28-year journey that took me from branch teller to CEO, who would have thought that I still get excited and passionate about our prospects and completely carried away when I talk about this organization that I know and love? Three years ago, we launched a seven-year plan focused on making Laurentian Bank Financial Group a renewed financial organization. Customer behavior had shifted and evolved at a rapid pace, sparked by advancements in technology and the globalization of banking. In response, we crafted a new mission statement that guides us in our journey to reinvent ourselves. We help customers improve their financial health. And to achieve this, we outline three strategic objectives. Build a stronger foundation, invest in profitable growth, and improve financial performance. At first, when we launched our seven-year plan, some were questioning the merits of such a long and ambitious plan. Others did not really know our organization at all and how it had already changed from being the Quebec-based traditional retail bank it once was. But management and the board of directors saw clearly what was to come, a disruption in banking on a scale that we had only seen in other industries like photography or music. The path we are on will make this organization a slick, nimble, cost-efficient financial services group, ready to prosper and ready to seek growth opportunities, whether they be organic or by acquisition. To get there in 2018, investments were made in our people, our processes, and our technology. We completed, completed phase one of our core banking implementation. This is a huge achievement, and it is an exciting time for us because going forward, this modern technology will significantly reduce implementation costs and time to market. In short, we're now building on solid ground. We implemented new best-in-class technology to improve performance in leasing and equipment financing for one of our key growth engines, LBC Capital. We increased the self-service capabilities of our customers, multiplying ABMs and joining the exchange network, giving access to way more ABMs, going from about 300 to 3,300, and now from coast to coast. 
We have improved the quality of the work life of employees by completing the build of a new corporate office in Montreal. This investment is already paying dividends in supporting better teamwork and a culture of performance. With our new Montreal office now fully operational, a strong presence in Toronto and across the country, we are seeing a vision of who we are becoming come to life. We celebrated the grand opening of our first advice lounge located at the Montreal corporate office. This new concept focuses on financial advice, improves the customer experience, and lowers operating costs. We plan to replicate this concept at a prominent location on the Montreal South Shore this year. We also strengthened the backbone elements of a growing organization, notably by improving processes and practices in the areas of IT governance, IT security, and business continuity. All the while, in 2018, we continued to focus on profitable growth. We exited businesses that we believe were non-strategic, like agriculture loans or safety deposit boxes. We had better than expected growth in LBC Capital and North Point Commercial Finance, who specialize in equipment and inventory financing, generating positive results with higher margin loan. We refocused the retail branch network on advice, preferring to build longer lasting and more wholesome relationships with customers. All this points towards the objective of evolving the bank mix, increasing loans to business customers, and expanding our geographic footprint to Canada and the US. In 2018, we had a few challenges. First, we successfully completed a very extensive mortgage loan portfolio review to ensure that securitization partners were satisfied with the quality of our paperwork. Unfortunately, our review attracted unwarranted attention by, by media and created some insecurity in the market. I'm happy to report that we have completed all this work as planned. Building on a locked track record of disciplined management and conservative credit quality, we are now ready to focus on profitable mortgage growth. Second, we had a very challenging negotiation with the union representing the Quebec branch-based employees. And because this agreement had ended, we also needed to develop a contingency plan in case of a labor conflict, which included operational impacts and important costs. I'm happy to report that we will no longer bear the increased costs related to labor relations, as our unionized Quebec branch network employees have overwhelmingly supported our offer for a renewed collective agreement. This agreement allows us to play on a level playing field with others in the industry, because we can now offer competitive working conditions, including a program to reward performance, operate with flexibility and streamline non-core administrative operations as we continue to transform, reduce unnecessary costs, notably as it relates to unionized staff employment security, and allows us to refocus our efforts on essential elements of our plan. In terms of performance, we indicated that during this time of transformation, short-term performance would not follow a straight line. The investments we made and continue making towards this year contribute to a higher than usual expense run rate, and we are managing two core banking systems side by side, as well as incurring higher regulatory and other transformation related costs. I'm sometimes asked, what is happening there over at Laurentian? Well, I know that some shareholders might be asking themselves the same question, and I always answer, we are building the bank of tomorrow. What we have learned about the HMVs and the blockbusters is this, they failed because of their inertia, a failure to recognize that the world was changing around them. Laurentian is standing out, and it is my wish that shareholders believe this organization is making these investments because this will be the winning strategy. Despite short-term performance, this bank has never been in a better financial position. In terms of its solid capital and liquidity levels, it continues to have an industry low loan loss rate, a testament to the quality of our underwriting and credit risk management. And it has never been stronger in terms of its processes and technology. I cannot speak about other financial organizations, but what we are doing here to move this organization into the next decade takes work and courage. But in the end, this courage pays off. We are moving our brand, our people, and our culture to one that puts the customers first, not on paper, but in real life. We are moving our entire customer base to digital banking, an easier mobile way to do banking, meaning that we will be the first 
to eliminate all manual transactions in our branches. And we will be launching digital products gradually across Canada under two brands, Laurentian Bank and B2B Bank, which represent advisors, which include independent financial advisors and brokers. In addition, this new customer base will provide a new source of funding. Nothing that is worthwhile comes easy, as the saying goes, and the team here at Laurentian is very much looking forward to seeing, in a not so distant future, our work generate growth, performance, and ultimately value for shareholders. I would like then to introduce the team, some of the people that are making things happen here at Laurentian. Craig Backman, Executive Vice President, Personal and Digital Banking. François Larin, Executive Vice President, Finance, Treasury, Capital Markets, and Chief Financial Officer. William Mason, Executive Vice President and Chief Risk Officer. Deborah Rose, Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer. And Stéphane Terrien, Executive Vice President, Personal and Commercial Banking. Thank you. 2019 continues to be a year of investment and one where we are putting a lot behind us, completing a lot of foundational elements. Consequently, it is a year where we will see the delivery of improved technology, a renewed relevant collective agreement, and better processes to drive future customer loan and deposit growth. We remain confident that the investments we're making will improve efficiency and position Laurentian Bank Financial Group for sustainable growth and performance in an industry that is rapidly changing. And even if the road has been and will continue to be bumpy just a little while longer, we are certain that the initiatives of our transformation plan will ultimately create long-term value for shareholders. For this reason, management remains steadfast and committed to achieving our midterm targets. I would like to thank our shareholders for their continued support, our board members and team members for their dedication, and most importantly, I express my gratitude to our customers who motivate, motivate us to surpass their expectations every day. The dream is to change this organization for the better, and for decades to come. We are building a different and better bank, and I must say, better and different it will be. Thank you.